Hi, and welcome to the Wise Easy Setup introduction video. My name is Manish Chako, and I'm the product manager for Windows Embedded uh, for Think Clients as well as Wise Easy Setup at Dell. To begin with, I'm going to show you the user interface for Wise Easy Setup. I'm going to go ahead and launch the admin access. I'm currently logged in as user, and so to access the admin uh, section, I will need to enter my credentials. This is the interface, the admin interface for Wise Easy Setup. Uh, Wise Easy Setup is a utility that lets you quickly and easily configure your Windows based in clients. On the top section, you'll see the connections and applications. Basically, you can add your VDI connection uh, brokers as well as any local applications that are installed on your Windows based in clients. Uh, one thing to note is when you add uh, an application, you're simply adding an application that's already installed locally on your thin clients. So in other words, this application lets you uh, show or hide applications based on your IT policy. If you want to go ahead and add an application, simply click on the plus button. You are shown the different applications that are available. And of course, if you don't see your application, you can simply click on browse and then browse to your particular application. Going to close out of that. Um, you can also, of course, delete a particular application or uh, edit it and change the uh, settings. For example, if I go to Notepad here, and if I want to say I want it to auto launch and be maximized, things like that, I can set those parameters right there. On the bottom left hand side, you'll see a section called user settings. These are pretty much the control panel settings that you will want your users to access or not. So depending on what you want your users to access, depending on your IT policies, you will enable or disable these. Um, these are, of course, um, the peripheral section at the bottom. Uh, if you want to let your users change your mouse orientation from right hand to left hand, change pointer speed, uh, clicking, etc., keyboard, uh, you can give them access to that. On the bottom right hand side where it says uh, user interface, this are the options that will change what is visible in the kiosk. So for example, on the taskbar you'll notice four uh, settings for date and time, sound, network status, and touch keyboard. All of these are available right here at the bottom right. In the start menu, you have admin mode, shutdown, restart, and log off. If you want the users to have access to these, you simply turn those on. And these are simply toggles, so you can quickly turn them on or off uh, by clicking on it. And you'll see on the bottom left, all of those options are available. This last section, um, or as I say, second to last section is personalization. You can change your background. Uh, if you have a corporate image that you would want, you can choose that, as well as uh, add your company logo. As you can see right now, we're using the Dell logo right here. You can change that on and off. The last section here is the kiosk mode, where when it's enabled, the end user will see simply what's behind this admin uh, UI. A kiosk where only the applications and connections that you have configured are available, as well as um, the access, the taskbar, and start menu. If the <clears throat> there's only one application or connection, you can then set an exit action, for example, um, if you have a um, VMware uh, Horizons session, if you want, you can set the exit action to be uh, relaunch the application or log off the think line, shut down, reboot, depending on your um, IT policies. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And as you can see, you can launch the different programs as you, as you desire. Um, and of course, if you have configured your uh, URL and username and password, they will show up here. Um, here are some of the options that we configured. These uh, on-screen keyboard, uh, if you do have a requirement for that, as well as the uh, ability to change network, connect to Wi-Fi setting, things like that. This concludes the uh, introduction to Wise Easy Setup. I hope this has been useful. Um, thank you for watching.